So we're camping at uh, George Lake Campground and we just got to our uh, campsite. Uh, it's Campsite 101, it's uh, very close to the water. So now we're just gonna go and uh, swim a little bit in the lake and then we're gonna set up our tent and uh, we rented a canoe so tomorrow morning, probably before sunrise. Uh, we're going on the canoe trip. So guys, keep watching because in a couple of minutes you'll see something really, really cool. The canoe was located at the main beach and our campsite was at the second beach. So we went there to move it closer to our campsite and join a little canoe in two. As night fell, the sky turned crystal clear, showing off the Milky Way and of course I took this opportunity to do some night photography. In the distance, occasional lightning added to the beauty of the scene. In the early morning, we started a canoe expedition across George Lake. In serene silence, it was just us, the misty tranquil lake and the rocky landscape. Canoeing in this breathtaking setting provided a truly peaceful and meditative experience. At the lake's end, we met a person who informed us about a beautiful waterfall nearby. To reach it, though, we would need to do a portage. Intrigued, we decided to follow this kind individual who offered to guide us to the waterfall. We had a conversation with this friendly man and he shared numerous fascinating stories about this land, which had once been a sacred place for indigenous peoples to conduct their spiritual practices. We asked the man, where can we read more about this? And he said, nowhere because the Anishinaabe spirituality is passed down through oral traditions, including stories, teachings, songs, that convey the wisdom of their ancestors and their relationship with the land. So we were grateful to hear some of it from a person who knew a little bit of those stories. His tales left us awestruck. The kind man also told us about a canoe route, which starts from George Lake and goes all the way to Silver Peak which is the highest point of the park. While it may take a few days to complete, the experience is undeniably worthwhile. Afterward, we explored the waterfall and other attractions before returning to our campsite, as we needed to check out by 2 p.m. We packed our belongings, 
returned the canoe gear to Killarney Outfitters, and finally before heading home, we visited the Chikanishin Trail. By the way, don't forget to take permits to each trail you want to visit at the visitor center. The Chikanishin Trail is a relatively short loop trail, approximately 3.5 kilometers in length. This trail is known for its breathtaking views of the rocked Georgian Bay coastline and the striking pink granite rock formations. And again, I can't stress enough, it's important to approach the Chikanishin Trail and all of Killarney Provincial Park with respect for its indigenous heritage. Visitors should be aware of the cultural significance of the land and adhere to the leave no trace principles to help preserve the environment for future generations while respecting indigenous traditions and connections to the area. After finishing the trail, on our way home, we saw two massive moose making a fantastic ending to our trip. We hope you like this video story. If you have suggestions for places in Ontario you'd like us to explore and film, please leave your comments below. We're eager to hear your ideas. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. Your support helps us grow and keeps us motivated to create more content like this. Thank you.